excellent morning excellent evening everyone <laughs> see me saying excellent morning because this is the first time i'm coming out to this office today <laughs> excellent evening everyone <laughs> we are all highly welcome to this evening's broadcast welcome welcome to every one of us wow <laughs> If it's the Igbos, they will say Mboye Jiteta Bototi. And when you wake up, it's your morning. Even though I'm not just waking up, but I'm just coming to the office this morning. And that's why I'm saying, excellent morning. <laughs> all right. So we are all highly welcome to this evening's broadcast or this night's broadcast. Welcome, welcome to every one of us. Today, we're going to be looking at 15 bad habits that may damage your joints and cartilage. What are those things you're doing? you know that uh that may damage your joints and your cartilage okay we're going to look at 15 of them so thank you for joining me today um if you join me you can um gladly say excellent evening or good evening or kind evening awesome evening whichever word you greet so that i can greet you back and welcome you to this evenings broadcast we are all highly welcome 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 i just want to share this out on my pages and then we get going today so you can also join me and share 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 okay as we look at those bad habits what are those things we are not supposed to be doing that we're doing so that we can note them check our lives one by one our lifestyle one by one and then we stop those things because of course we know that information is very very vital okay it's very very important that you know what is doing you if you know what is doing you it will go a long way to help you to avoid such things so we are all highly welcome kindly share 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 out on your pages kindly share 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 Hello, Evarista Ijoma, you're welcome. Welcome, Estella James. Welcome, Edna. Welcome, Chinenye. Good evening to every one of us. We're highly welcome to this evening's broadcast. Welcome, welcome. As we look at those 15 bad habits, even though I, I published 10, but I was able to get five more and I felt no need to keep it to myself. Let me still share it with us. Hello, Abati. Nike, you're welcome. You're highly welcome to this evening's broadcast. Welcome, welcome. So let's share, 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 share. It's going to be a fun day. It's going to be a full of, you know, information day. A day that um, we will really have a lot to talk to others about. I hope we discuss all these things when we're in our offices, when we're in our homes, when we're in, uh, you know, in different places where we we meet talk about it it's good to if you have good information it's good to tell people about it if you can also write about it write about it if you can chat a friend about it chat a friend about it but just let's not keep it to ourselves okay let's not keep it to ourselves hello pastor evelyn you're welcome welcome vera welcome 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 to this evening's broadcast as we look at 15 bad habits okay 15 bad habits that you may be doing or you may not be doing, but those bad habits can hinder and can damage your bones, your joints, your cartilage. They can damage, you know, your joints and then bring forth arthritis, several types of arthritis that they might bring forth that will cause damage to your system and to your body. So that's what we're going to be looking at today. I'm sharing, please kindly share to groups you belong. This is very, very important. Remember that preventive medicine is the way to go. Preventive medicine is the way to go now. Natural ways to healing, they are the ways to go now. There's no need waiting for that thing to happen before you begin to do something about it, okay? Hello, Fasaya Jennifer, you're welcome. Welcome to this evening's broadcast. So please let's um, share, 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 share out. Let's share, share. Hi, Saikai. You're welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. All right. So I think I've greeted all those. Jerry, my, you're welcome. Imade, you're welcome. Welcome to this evening's broadcast. I think I've greeted almost everyone who has joined me live this evening. And I, I'll get going today. 
all right so you are all highly welcome to this evening's broadcast okay so like i said today we are looking at habits bad habits that may damage your joints that may damage your cartilages okay um your, we are, that's what we are looking at today so we can go ahead and ask our questions any question you have i'll be taking the answers to the questions that i see online that's why my phone is open as we go along today so we are all highly welcome this is my forehead. <laughs> it likes gathering sweat. <laughs> I can see it. <laughs> All right. So, of course, you know, everything from what you eat to how you use your phones, your daily lifestyle, they affect your life. They affect your joints, especially. Because almost every part of our body, physical, you know, there are joints, you know. Almost every of those, you know, if it's anywhere you have bones, you have joints. So, and of course you know that if you use anything on and off all day long every day for months for years for decades over time that thing is bound to show wear and tear and that's why some people who are wise when they have their own vehicles they would rather hire some vehicles for certain trips they are taking and keep their vehicles intact so that they will not have wear and tear on those vehicles also people you know that's one thing some people say you know that some people take care of their properties more than they take care of their own lives their own body some people care more for their cars they will take their cars for servicing they will take their car they will check the oil every morning check water in the car every morning check their batteries keep dates on certain things about their vehicles their cars you know some people is their phones but their body, this is their body that is helping them to make money to get those properties. They are not taking care of it. How about even as when you're using your phone, I've used this phone for like um maybe like three years now, okay? And then the one I'm using to broadcast now to us, my iPhone is just a few months old, maybe like two months old. All right, so this one is older, it has fallen so many times. Hey, I pity this phone in fact even just it's less than one month now that i i changed the screen guard mm? it has fallen again the screen guard is cracked it's the same way some people treat their bodies okay so that that's why some if you treat your body like that when it comes to joint health those protective cushion between your bones which we call cartilage they will be at risk of wear and tear okay and that's why the risk of developing osteoarthritis and degenerative joint disease increases with age. That's why, because of the wear and tear. So you can't really do much to slow down on your age. You can't really do much, but there are a few things you can actually do, you know. But there are plenty of lifestyle changes you can make to slow, to, to, to slow down on the damages on your joints. And also to show your joints that you love your joints a bit. Show love. <laughs> show love to your body show love to your joints okay so these are the things we are going to be discussing today hello adeda your phone care you're welcome welcome esther samuel welcome grace welcome Ezimwa. welcome victory oh all right so and you're welcome to today's broadcast so we're going to be looking very very quickly at 15 of them so the first one which we're also going to be treating on wednesday looking at some of those things on wednesday is eating pro one bad habit is eating pro inflammatory foods there are foods that are pro inflammatory e.g red meat some people love suya a lot they take almost every day they are eating red meat they are eating suya white sugar very very bad in fact anybody that is still taking white sugar hates the body his body or her body okay french fries very very bad mineral soda all the soda drink fizzy drinks that we drink pastries you know that brings us down to flour white bread meat pie you're taking them as if they are daily things you should take now don't get me wrong i'm not saying that those things are poisonous that they will kill you at once but they are slowly and gradually taking you nearer your grave so there are things you eat ceremonially. There are things you eat when there are, when occasionally, okay? So, and again, on the other hand, foods that are rich in omega-3 fatty acids, flaxseed oil, cold water fish like salmon and mackerel are 
anti-inflammatory food and can also help to alleviate inflamed joints. So if you're having arthritis, if you have a risk factor of arthritis, maybe it's running in your family, then why don't you start early to remove red meat from your food and change to mackerel and salmon fish, okay? And then also leafy greens are also recommended because they are cholesterol lowering foods. And also like almonds, pistachios, walnuts, all these are very, very good. Nuts are generally good, you know, for our health, okay? All right. In fact, they published a study done um, one time in the rheumatology um, vote, um, journal. And they found out that there is a link between high cholesterol and knee and hand osteoarthritis. So if you, your, your cholesterol reading is already on the high side, the bad cholesterol, then very likely, very soon, you're likely to develop osteoarthritis. So you need to be very, very careful. Hello, Eten Marian, you're welcome. Thank you for joining us again today. Hello, Caroline Ukeke, you're welcome. Major for Comfort, you're welcome. Marisa Chinere, you're all welcome to this evening's broadcast. So you need to incorporate foods like olive oil, berries, okay, and fish into your diet if you're experiencing joint pains. Okay, I have a drink here. Uh, my body was feeling very, very funny from yesterday. So, pomestine had been my, my, instead of taking paracetamol, I take berries because berries have a way of um, reducing, you know, inflammation and reducing all those pains that are caused by inflammation and things like that. So, like between yesterday and today, I've nearly finished the bottle I opened of my pomestine power and it's been so, so wonderful. All right. So, so foods that are high in beta carotene, high in fiber, high in magnesium. Okay. Food that are omega-3 fatty acid. Like if you don't even have salmon, just get your active C. Get your active C and active C is going to help you because this is omega-3 fish oil. I used to do demo with this fish oil and other um, you know, mm, omega-3 that they are selling in the market to prove to people that this is the original omega-3. But get this, it will help you, okay? It will help with um, its anti-inflammatory um, supplements that you can take. So that's number one bad habit, eating pro-inflammatory foods. Number two bad habits, me too, I've been reading this to myself and talking to myself about it, okay? Occasional texts, um if you're just using your phone and you're texting occasionally it is it, not going to have any harm but when you're always on your phone typing typing mini mini typing <laughs> me i'm learning something especially for my customers eh today after all my studies and research this week i've decided i'm going to be doing more voice notes to you people though. so pardon me <laughs> it's going to be more of voice note all this typing 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 i read that it's a, it's going to affect one's wrist and especially the thumb fingers with time you know because they say that texting stresses your the joints in your hands especially your thumbs so texting with your tongue puts them in awkward and often hyper extended positions that irritate the tendons so when you text frequently it's going to keep your 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 thumb joints in hyper extended positions that will irritate the tendons so testing with your thumb like they say places 12 times the pressure on your thumb joints that it does on the tip of the thumbs. So like if you're testing now, you know, you will be feeling, okay, it's the tip of my tongue I'm using to text. But this joint, if you check, this joint is actually the one doing the work. If you watch me, the action that I'm taking. So that's what it's, it puts 12 times the pressure on your the joints of this your thumb so experts say that thumbs are responsible for 60 percent of the functioning of your hands okay 60 percent of the function of your whole hands are on your thumb so if you need your thumbs in good if you keep it and you need it to be in good working condition and good working order you need to minimize thumb texting so what is the recommended you know, thing you should do. Voice function. Keep texting hands free. 
texting can be bad for your shoulder for your neck okay so and then you know when you're testing your hunching over to look at your phone while testing and then it's also stressing your neck and your shoulder then you're bending your neck all the way forward so you your chin is also touching your chest and placing tremendous amount of strain on your neck also so typing testing on your phone dicing food staying in a in an awkward position to dice and chop foods cut vegetables these are activities that will make you repeat the same motion over and over again and that can tax larger joints like your shoulder as well and then as small as your smaller thumbs joints okay so what do we recommend instead of if you have a long text to send do a voice note to that person if you want to chop vegetables relax get yourself relaxed stretch out yourself and cut and then get machines devices that can help you cut there are so many devices in the in the market now that can help ease off these things okay like when i traveled to dubai like um 2017 yes i saw one very very nice um chopping whatever very very sharp you know it can cut vegetables in any shape you want it so anytime i'm cooking i'm making salad i'm making um sauces that i need vegetables i insist on it's being used okay so you need to get devices that can help you this is very very important all right somebody is asking can we eat eggs yes you can eat eggs eggs are very very good last week when i was talking i told us that eggs are very very good they are anti-inflammatory don't mind all those things they are telling us that eggs are bad eggs are good but of course you know you have to take everything in moderation hello adenike you're welcome 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 yes yeah, so god will help us chibuzo so the bad another bad habit that we do number three is carrying heavy loads okay it's hardly a surprise that heavy lifting whether it's you know lifting a filled to capacity bag on a daily basis or picking up your children your grandchildren your children you know and you're carrying them all the time you know and lifting them up and throwing them all these things we give um will, will, will uh, takes a toll on your body okay so and it's also exact a specific toll on your joints i can remember many times when i go for mugo you know mugo now that i have to carry my grandchildren for long you know maybe these ones especially having bats in the morning throwing up and down and things like that during such periods you'll find out that you will have some pains in certain areas of your body imagine if you're doing this every day so carrying objects that are heavy creates imbalance throughout your body okay and these imbalances create stress on those joints which can further deteriorate the cartilage over time so when you keep doing those motions that are heavy that are not very comfortable for your hands for your body for your 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 bones and your joints then the cartilage will begin to wear out okay and the trick of course is define every load any amount of load that requires more than one hand for you to pick it up please don't pick it up with one hand i'm also talking to myself sometimes i'm in so much a hurry that i don't think about this so when i talk about them it helps me to remember also and that's why i'm telling us to share 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 in your office talk about this thing tell them you listen to one video and this is what they said can we you know talk about it because when you tell people about it it will help you to also remind yourself so you need to play it safe and use your palms of both hands or use your arms instead of your hands when you want to lift or carry stuff that's what arthritis foundation suggests there are some things instead of carrying them in your hands like this you can put them on your arm okay so that your arm will be the thing to lift up that load so then you hold it close to your body which will also make it less stressful for your joints okay like if i have let me use now let me use this example i have this big book strong concordance do you know that sometimes i'm so careless that i want to just leave this book is so heavy with only one hand why would i leave this book with one hand carelessness so when i do that and i do it over time it's going to tell on my joints it's heavy weight on my joints so the best thing is to lift it with my two hands and if i need to carry it far 
put it on your arm and then put it close to your body so that your body also bears the weight and then of course i don't really need to carry this so i keep it near where i can use it it's right here on my table okay so that's what i'm trying to explain to us then number four the fourth bad habit take it or leave it <laughs> that's what i want to say about this is wearing high heels through the day wearing high heels generally especially at this hour age except if it's something you have been doing remember what i say if you have been doing it while you were young you can continue doing it but of course you know i know you know Papa, that at this age you find out that if you could wear high heels all through the day when you were younger you can't try it now that you're over 50 60 and 70 you can't try it now okay because it's not going to be good you know it's not going to be very very good for you all right so high heel places your feet in an awkward position and that will stress your joint it will strain your muscles and then it can throw you back out of alignment okay that's what it does so wearing high heels will make your thigh muscles also work harder to keep your knees straight and this also places dangerous twisting forces on your knees so women who wear high heels every day may increase the risk of developing osteoarthritis and also foot pain okay so high heel sandals and slippers are considered poor shoes because they provide inadequate support for your feet swap high heels and other poor shoe styles for supportive working shoes or sneakers to keep your foot your feet and your back pain abey okay this is very very important for us all right so i think okay yeah imade says don't take more than three a day <laughs> all right you've had imade don't take more than three eggs a day Okay, Chibuza says she carries her load on her head. <laughs> well, it depends on how heavy the load is. And then you need a support. That thing, you know, in Igbo land, when we want to carry load, they will do a... <laughs> they will take a cloth like this and then they will do it. We call it Aju. They will do it like this, do it like this, do it like this for you so that you can carry the load with it. <laughs> All right, okay. So, Adeika said, you are correct, but I have been having back pain due to too much heavy... Yes, please, reduce carrying of weight we can be careless we need to really really watch it i'm really telling us the truth we need to really really watch it at this age okay all right so number five bad habit is overdoing exercise overdoing exercise is also a bad habit i will not forget the story i keep telling us to remind us of about this when i wanted to lose weight initially and i was following all these very tough you know people that will talk so much about weight loss and about exercising i was doing mountain climbing on the floor flat floor like this so i'll be climbing the mountain on the floor <laughs> so one of the days my husband came looked at me said which exercise is this one i said it's mountain climbing he said mm -hmm. so when i was doing it in the room he talked again so i now decided to be coming out of the room to be coming to the city room to do that exercise so one of the days while i was climbing that mountain on the flat floor I had me on my ankle and that was it. For three months, I had to stay back nursing it. So who lost? Eh? That way that I was trying to get, sitting in one place and nursing a, a, a sprained ankle. What happens about it? So overdoing exercise, cramping in what you will do 30, 30 minutes in a day, in for one week, every day. You now go and put it for one day, one day that you have time. You do five hours exercise three hours exercise now you sabio you, you know i keep telling us maybe on saturday if you have time you can do one to two hours work work gently not the one that you'll be doing brisk work or jogging work gently because you need that time alone when you're also working you're alone okay so there is always a balance between how much exercise you your body can take so you need to find out that sweet pause and also mix exercises do your aerobic exercise do your strength training exercise do your walk you know mix all these exercises to help your body so that your body will not be doing the same thing over and over again but having different exercises is is, is partaking on all right then number six bad habit is being physically inactive being physically inactive that's number six bad habits that some people do all right 
Okay, Chiboza say when buying shoes, I bought the shoes that have foam inside. Yes, when you have shoes that have cushion, it's also very good. They have some of these shoes that are padded, that are but let it be padded well because some of them are not rightly padded. I bought one trainers one time that had those soft things and it was putting my my leg pressure on my leg on one side because it wasn't well padded i had to give it out i had to actually give it out maybe it wasn't meant for my fitting my my shoe fitting so it's also very good for you to have um all those cushion and things so being physically inactive that's your sedentary habits are bad for your joints in so many ways for him for example it makes it hard for you to maintain a healthy weight and then it adds extra kilograms on your joints also especially for those on your hips your hands and your knees when you're sedentary because you're always sitting or you're always lying okay the knees are especially vulnerable you know they did um one experiment with some women who are obese and who have a body mass index of 30 and above and they found out that those who had um body mass index of 30 that's they are tending towards obesity are five times more likely to get knee osteoarthritis than those who are less 25 you know uh, bmi and less so and then frequently sitting leads to muscle tightness in your hips and your legs and this weakens your core stabilizing muscle and that's why i'm an advocate of fitness ball because when you are sitting for a long time you're sitting in one place your knees your hip your thigh your waist they are sedentary they're not doing any work and so you might be thinking oh i'm doing a lot of work i'm writing i'm reading i'm studying so you're working your hands might be working your mind might be working but your legs your other part the other parts of your body are not working and that's why i i, I always advise students if you're elderly and you're doing adult education please go and get fitness ball because when you're sitting on fitness ball you're not sedentary your tie is not sedentary is a kind of massaging is a kind of helping you to there's movement that you might not really know but there is movement because you cannot sit on it and be stable you will be moving yet you're comfortable so that slight and gradual and frequent and consistent movement helps your thigh your knees your hip to be moving is not in one place okay so sedentary lifestyle and activity lifestyle is very very bad and i even advise people who work for long hours in office to buy their fitness ball and i did percentage discount on fitness ball on saturday okay because it was my i i extended my birthday my um, distributorship birthday to that saturday i can still do it for those who need it for offices okay just tell me I need my fitness ball for my office and I'll still give you that 25% discount because I want you to go and try this and see how your health will improve. In fact, there was one woman I gave fitness ball to. She was sitting for a long time and I told her, okay, take this fitness ball and sit on. After sitting for like two hours, she said, I won't happen. I was having one pain. Oh, that pain stopped. Does this thing stop pace? <laughs> that was what she asked me. So to counter all of this, you need exercises joint friendly exercises five days a week okay and then moderate low impact activities like walking water aerobics swimming are easy on your joints so if you have osteoarthritis avoid deep squats and deep lunges avoid running avoid repetitive jumping activities that you know with quick turns are not very good for you activities with sudden stops like basketball and tennis are not good for you if you're already having osteoarthritis and then make a point of um, breaking out having some for some rest periods every 30 30 minutes if you're having some kind of um, heavy exercises and stretches i do that also when i'm walking if i walk for like 15 minutes i try to stay in one place you know sit a bit do one thing or two and then i continue working again so doing this will help also to lubricate your joints and keep them you know active then but the seventh bad habits we engage on is carrying heavy bad back 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 
you see that's one thing i'm going to stop also this is like my hand luggage when i'm traveling because <laughs> this is my office okay this is exactly my office here i will have my laptop i will have my in fact my power bank is still inside here very heavy power bank that can last for two days when i'm traveling i have my oil i have my hair oil i have my sanitizer you know inside it you know so but so many times when i'm traveling i don't go with handbag my my handbag is this and you know i used to carry it on one one side because it's just easy for me to pull it like that that habit is stopping today i'm going to start using both shoulders to make sure i carry that back because carrying a heavy load on your back you know whether it's a backpack a purse or a messenger bag they can place a lot of stress and strain on your neck even though you're carrying it like this on your shoulder and on your back so when you carry a heavy load it affects your balance and then even the way you walk it also affects the way you walk this is especially true if you're carrying back back okay so and this results um the result is that the stress um the, it stresses your muscles it stresses your joints on the side of the body and then overworks them so they experience more wear and tear so you may experience muscle pain joint pain and other symptoms so you, we need to lighten our load avoid luggage around unnecessary you know you you, you want to travel like this now i have what i have i have everything there no 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 i will now be separating the things that i don't need immediately between when i'm going to check in and when i will sit down they have to stay inside my my trolley bag okay my hand luggage that i'm carrying i just have to learn that i'm talking to myself so you find out that bad habit in your life about carrying load and try also to do something about it talk about it loading too much into your bag can actually alter your posture and then also alter your walking strand you see some children when they are carrying backpack sometimes they form that habit and they are now walking in a way tilted in a way that they used to carry that bag even when they are not carrying it okay so they say you should wear your purse when it's full <laughs> wear your purse you can use your hand off to wear your purse and they say your purse should not should not be more than five percent of your body weight so if you're wearing something like um let's say like 70 um kg then your purse should not be more than um 3.5 kg okay so then if you wear a backpack distribute the weight more evenly okay distribute the weight more evenly so that you can carry more weight in the things you're rolling instead of in the things you're carrying in your arms it's very very important that we do this chine said i am quite uh, okay i'm guilty of carrying one on shoulder and it's usually so heavy it's very very bad i'm talking to myself chine here too Sincerely, I'm talking to myself today. I'm going to discuss it with my husband so that he will keep reminding me. It's very, very bad. Sometimes, just because of paying excess luggage when you're traveling, excess luggage of 4,000 naira, 6,000 naira, you can put all those things in your bag and carry them so that you will not give the airline the money. The money you will use to treat yourself is going to be more than that 6,000 naira. Okay? Especially for people who do frequent travel. So it's very, very important that we think about this. Then the eighth bad habit is that we are not strength training. We are not, we are, we are skipping stretches, okay? Or fall exercises, strength training can be especially protective because it builds and strengthens supportive muscles around our joints. In fact, experts recommend strength training like three to four times a week, okay? So, so that you can lift weights that are um, intentional and do exercises with your body weight for resistance so that you can you can train your body for resistance okay and this also include like pilots if you go down my page just on my page on aging with grace type pilot you will see all those exercises you can do and if you're doing exercise that you're already having pain like i always tell us make sure you massage on saturday i showed us how you can use your massage cream to massage before you even start rolling or while you're rolling like those who are having knee pains i showed how you can be massaging your knee 
while you're on your fitness ball and you'll be doing the exercises so that it can help your knee to adjust to such exercises so get your massage cream either you get your aloe heat lotion if you like it hot or you get your msm gel if you like it cool or you combine the two these are very very important um, massage cream that you can use also so regular stretching improves flexibility and then it will ease joint pains off for you so if you don't um, like do warm-ups or stretches before your workout or after your workout is very very important because it will strengthen your muscles and your tendons it will lubricate your joints that stretches and then boost your ability to have more normal range of motion so ultimately strong muscles support joint stability so stretching is a very good way to maintain your joint health warm up before exercise by doing dynamic and active stretches i've shown us that also there is a week uh, a saturday i did stretches so you can also type stretch exercises on my page and get that sample so this also involves doing movements that are similar to those used in the activities or sports that you are about to do so active stretching will um, improve blood flow increase your muscle temperature and also get your muscle ready for activity so and that's why i always talk about warm-up 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 stretches when i'm doing my exercises all right so nine the ninth bad habit is ignoring your joint pains ignoring your joint pains ignoring when your body when your joint joint is talking to you initially is a very very bad habit that we partake um and we do okay all right china yesterday she will stop carrying um too many um too 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 much load on her shoulder it's very very good please stop edna thank you for thanking me for stina thank you thank you thank you sweetie also so ignoring your joint pain if your if any of your joints have been hurting you for more than one week don't try to power through the pain please don't try to ignore the pain and feel you will get over it. Your body is trying to tell you something. Remember that I always say that our body speaks to us. So when you have headache, your body is speaking to you. When you have pain, your body is speaking to you. When you're running stool, your body is speaking to you. When your body goes abnormal, your body is speaking to you. So what do you do? Consult your doctor. And if you have symptoms like tenderness, stiffness, swelling, you know, you better consult immediately. If your doctor recommends treatments, don't delay. You know, taking action now can restore normal function and even prevent more serious problems if you allow it to keep going, all right? And then pain can also be a sign that you're about to have rheumatoid arthritis or osteoarthritis or you have a form of arthritis that is not well um, um, uh, managed. And remember, like I told us, we have fantastic supplements that can help with these joint pains, the Active HA and Forever Move. I really thank God for my company. And I really thank my company. I thank the, the founder of my company, Rex Moore, the president of my company, Greg Moore, for these two supplements, sincerely. Why am I thanking them? Why am I thanking God? These supplements have, I've used it to help over 500 people, and I mean it. And I'm still counting. Today alone, I've supplied three of these supplements. I already have others for like another three tomorrow, okay? And people keep thanking me every day for these two sets of supplements. I keep getting referrals for these supplements. People who are having joint pains, osteoarthritis, spondylosis, um, rheumatoid arthritis, reactive arthritis, all forms of back pain, um, lower back pain, waist pain, ankle pain, knee pains, um, thumb pains, joint pains generally. They have used this product and they are testifying all over the world. I've sold this product in US, UK, Zambia. Um, Malawi, I've sold this product in, in Ghana, I've sold it in Togo, I've sold it in, in, in UAE, I've sold it in Abu Dhabi, I've sold it in so many, so many countries. 
and every day i'm getting testimonials i'm really really so grateful so don't ignore your pain and because of how much it's been going it's been going on six 25 percent discount since that day since may last year very soon it's going to be one year that i've done 25 percent discount and helping hundreds of people all over the world stay away from pain okay so ignoring pain is a bad habit you know the phrase no pain no gain does not apply for osteoarthritis okay it does not apply so use um, assistive devices if you're already having pain like i said if instead of suffering and going on your legs and it and if using a, a walking stick can help you it's better you use a walking stick so that you cannot damage the joints more okay and make sure you get your supplements that can help you all these ones are going on 25 percent discount because it's also our month of arthritis so that's rule number nine then rule um bad habit number 10 hello lua kemi is asking how much the two products are chat me on my whatsapp number lua kemi yeah let me put my number on the screen now my number is plus two three four plus two three four seven zero three five one five one six four two plus two three four seven zero three five one five one six four two that's my whatsapp number and i'm also going to pin it now for us so just chat me on my whatsapp number okay and you will get um you will get you will get the you will be able to get the prizes i can't i don't say prizes on i wanted to put my whatsapp number here why is it not letting me delete the password? okay let me put it so my whatsapp number my whatsapp number is plus two three four seven zero three five one five one six four two plus two three four seven zero three five one five one six four two okay so that's my whatsapp number so you can chat me you can chat me and get the prizes anywhere in the world i had someone buying um yesterday from uk day before yesterday from us and then um, another person from liberia okay so you can get it anywhere in the world so just chat me on my whatsapp number and you will get to know how much it is so skipping on your calcium and your vitamin d is another bad habit okay you need calcium you need vitamin d for strong bones also low levels of vitamin d have been linked to decreased muscle strength okay so for calcium to um, for calcium you need to go for low fat low dairy and then fortified drinks like almond drink or soy milk okay and then for vitamin d you need to go for sources like natural fatty uh, fish like i've talked about like salmon and cereals fortified with vitamin d okay you need to take some of these supplements that can help you some of this food that can help you and i've already told us that we have our forever calcium and the beautiful thing about our forever calcium is that it also has vitamin d because to be able to digest your calcium you need vitamin d and and so my my, my company provided this calcium with vitamin d in it and it's fantastic it's very very good and of course you know already that we we also have our light ultra which is also a plant-based soy milk which is also filled with vitamin a vitamin c vitamin d vitamin e vitamin b6 vitamin b12 so this is also very very good for joint health also so take your supplements please at this age the truth of the matter is that we have to take our supplements that's the truth never you feel ah i'm going to remain on it some people ask me for long how long am i going to take my dietary supplement then i now ask them for how long are you going to eat food hmm? how long are you going to eat food these things are not medicine they are not drugs they are dietary supplements so they supplement your food they give your food what it is lacking because when you get your green leafy vegetables and you boil them on fire for more than five minutes you have killed the nutrients 
So these supplements will now supplement the nutrients that have been burnt off from the food because we want to make the food sweet and palatable. In making the food sweet and palatable, we are killing the nutrients. So why don't you use the supplements to make sure you give your body what your body needs to work? All right, so number 11 is not having enough sleep. A good night rest can make a big difference in how you feel. Start with good sleep habits like cutting out caffeine at least last six hours before you go to bed, avoiding alcohol and also exercising regularly. If you are still not sleeping well, then you need to consult me, chat me, <laughs> chat me on my number and I'm going to give you my miracle tea that will help you to sleep like a baby, okay? Also check your mattress. Is it saggy? Saggy mattresses are not good. Like in my adverts today, I showed you, you know, sleeping positions that can give you backache. If your mattress is sagging and then it now makes your, your hip to, to curve. Or if it's puffy and then it now makes your hip to either curve, curve upwards or curve downwards. That could be a bad sleeping position. So you need to also watch that. Also... The vast majority of people who suffer from arthritis, approximately 80% of them have difficulty sleeping. And then when your joints ache or when you're experiencing joint inflammation or stiffness, it can also make it difficult for you to sleep. And researchers also found out that the opposite is also the truth. If you suffer from sleep problems, they actually make your joints to ache. So these symptoms get worse. So it's like a cycle that goes on and on so you need to break that cycle and to be able to break that cycle you need to take supplements that can help you sleep well they are not medicine some people go on valium or oh, let me not call words some people go on some sleeping drugs those ones you can get addicted to them and then they are not very good for you but these supplements and they don't you don't get addicted to them they they change your sleeping habits to a better sleeping habit and then you can stay off them you, if you like and you will begin to also sleep very very well so number 12 is gaining extra weight gaining extra weight hello ajibade kudirat you're welcome welcome atinuke for joining us this evening so the heavier you are the more pressure your joints endure that's the truth especially your hip your knee your spine these are the the ones that bears the weight of your trunk Okay, so excessive weight overtaxes your cartilage, your, your, the cartilage on the, all these places that I've mentioned. Because the cartilage serves, your joint as, uh, serves for your joint as shock absorbers, causing, you know, so causing pain and contributing to cartilage tear may also require surgery. That's why you hear people going for hip replacement, knee replacement, weight is part of it. So to ease the weight, to ease the load on your joints, you need to go on some kind of comprehensive weight loss program. Watch what I said, comprehensive weight loss program. And this inculcates your diet, your lifestyle, exercises, and some supplements that can help you. I have my Clean 9, my Clean 9 program, okay? It's going on. Someone started it in UK again today. I have people I'm coaching on Clean 9 every day. I have people I coach on all through the year. I have people. So you can join us. It's for men. It's for, it's for women. It's for men. It's not gender selective. Okay? And Clean 9 is both for men and for women. And it's fantastic. I don't want to go through all the details that it contains. But I'm giving you this at Clean 9 at a very, very good percentage discount. And then you're also going to get a free bottle of aloe vera gel with it. So you can chat me on my WhatsApp number. I'll give you the packet that you pay for. I give you an extra aloe vera gel. I give you two books. And I also give you measuring cups. Because these cups will help you in the calorie count that we do. So these are all the gifts you get if you buy your Clean 9 between now and Saturday. Okay? You get these free measuring cups, okay? That will help you to know when I say one cup, when I say two cups of this, two cups of cabbage in my book and things like that. You'll be able to know what I'm talking about. You get this free. You get free aloe vera gel bottle 
and then the pack that you paid for and you also get um coaching from me okay you get the coaching from me and you still get two books from me that can help you so you can join the weight loss program any day that you like okay excessive weight overtaxes your cartilage and is not good for you so extra weight also burdens your joints in your hip your back and the rest so additional weight also increases strain and wear tear of your joints so all these stresses will make your joints to begin to ache you and then also some types of inflammatory molecules may also promote development of osteoarthritis and these are conditions that come when you're overweight so you need to watch your weight very very well then number 13 is relying you know relying on the wrong muscles when you're relying on the wrong muscles it can um you have both large and small muscle in your body so when you uh, rely on the small muscles to make movement it will place unnecessary stress on uh, you know and strain on your joints so you need to perform physical exercises and activities in a way that you minimize stress on your joints bend at your knees when you want to lift something off the floor so that your thigh muscles not your back do not overwork i've shown us that last week okay and i also showed us on saturday you can watch that video on saturday where i showed how you can back then you also use your shoulder muscle instead of your finger muscle to open heavy doors okay instead of using your finger use your shoulder muscle to open those heavy doors then while carrying something hold it close to your body like i showed you instead of just carrying it on your hand like this hold it close to your body okay so you when you hold it close to your body you will use your palm and your fans not your finger so you can use carry like this not using your fingers that will not be good for your your finger then number 14 bad habit is being a stomach sleeper when you sleep on your stomach you may snore less okay but the rest of your body may suffer people who sleep on their stomachs have to twist their heads and their necks on the side and this in turn places stress on the nerves and it also compresses your spine leading to awkward spinal alignment okay so if you want to sleep in a neutral position so that your head and neck are in a straight line with your spine you need to sleep like that so that you can reduce the risk of strain on your neck and on your muscles so avoid sleeping on your stomach as much as possible switch to sleeping on your side or on your back like for special uh, then you also look for special pillows for side sleeping okay and there are also special pillows for back sleeping that will promote your spine alignment. I also showed this on my video today. Hello, Ajulu Chuku. Good evening. Eunice Oyinye. Good evening. Abose De Lawani. Good evening. Oh, you do so gay. Akenzoa. You say you need sleeping supplement. Please chat me on my WhatsApp number that is pinned on the screen. Plus 234 703 -515 -1642. So that will give you the supplements that they, are, they don't have um, side effects, okay? That will help you sleep and sleep very well. All right, so number 15, which is the last one, is having poor posture. I'm sure so, you must have had a lot of people that will say, sit and stand straight. Those people are very, very right. Having poor posture throws stro your spine out of alignment. And then it also increases stress on your muscles and your joints. So it also may decrease your range of motion and flexibility and also may throw you off balance. So having poor posture, uh, posture must, may inhibit your ability to do things by yourself. Of course, you know that. So it also increases the risk of falls and, and, and um, it's very, very good for you to have basic um, good posture. And like I said, fitness ball is also, it also helps with posture development. If you sit on fitness ball, it will force you to sit upright. And then when you want to stand, stand tall with your shoulder back and your head held high, okay? 
tighten your abdominal muscles and then keep your core strong so if you work on a dex make sure that you have a good ergonomic set for example adjustable chairs like this my chair is very very adjustable okay and then also make sure um you have um like adjustable things you can use for your computers i have my computer um i showed us the other time i must have packed it away when i was trying to clear the table that can help me adjust my computer when i adjust my chair i adjust my computer to a very good position that i can use so we have looked at the 15 ways or 15 bad habits that make damage your joints 15 bad habits that might damage your cartilage and i already say if you're already having some pain make sure you get the supplements that i've mentioned preventive every woman should have actc and calcium for prevention and you can also have your nature mean if you don't want to use your calcium you want other minerals you can use your nature mean and your actc okay or your calcium and your act and your actc but if you're already having pains you need to then add your forever move and active ha so that it can help and for those of us who have aged parents in the village they are always complaining complaining about backache knee pains please 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 in addition to buying bonvita and milo and milk for them get them these supplements it will go a long way to make their lives better okay all right very very good so the 15 bad postures or bad habits number one eating pro-inflammatory foods number two texting and using your computer for a long time do more voicemail okay number three carrying heavy load is another bad habit number four wearing high heel shoes another bad habit number five overdoing your exercise number c physical inactivity lifestyle number seven carrying heavy backpack or purses or handbags they are not good for us they are bad habits bad habit number eight not stretch training or not stretching they are bad habit number eight number nine ignoring your joints when they are paining you bad habit number nine ignoring your joints when they are speaking to you bad habit number 10 skipping your supplements you need to take your supplements they are very very good for you bad habit number 11 not sleeping enough not getting enough sleep number 12 gaining extra weight or not losing that weight that you already have number 13 relying on the long muzzle on your smaller um muscles and joints to do work number 14 being a stomach sleeper please don't sleep on your stomach as much as you can help it and number 15 having bad postures and i took all our ex um, questions while we were going on so we'll call it a day hello Yetayo, you you're welcome kate how are you wow kate from ghana how are you kate i hope you have many people online today okay i hope you have many people online today thank you thank you thank you kate kate is already raising her, her own global influencers in ghana remember that this year 2022 i'm raising 100 global influencers and kate is one of them in ghana and kate is already working hard to make sure that she influences women in ghana and worldwide remember we are using social media so it's global influence that's what we are calling ourselves so if you want to be among the hundred global influencers chat me on my whatsapp number that you're seeing on the screen and i'm going to be training you and teaching you on how you can become a global influencer also chibuzo says chai mommy thanks for this lecture thank you for joining me chibuzo please make sure you share 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 so that women and men can learn and we will have better help i love you all thank you for joining me again today Bye.